Have you been searching for a brand new home that offers two master suites at an affordable price in a community where there's a low HOA and no CDD? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion is helping people evolve in real estate so we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurants, shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are back in Haines City, Florida, and it's said to be that Haines City is the heart of Central Florida. Now we're gonna to be touring this community. It is called Covered Bridge, and the builder is Stanley Martin. Now the home that we are touring is their Weber, which is four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage, 2,210 square feet. I am super excited because this floor plan has two master bedrooms. You heard that right. Now, the price is under $400,000. It depends on what lot it is. So this specific lot is priced at almost $394,000. Now there's two other lots, which I'm gonna show you as well. It has huge backyards and it's priced around 396, 397. I'm super excited for you to see it. Now, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we're gonna go to Monarch School of Real Estate and I'm gonna go over some down payment, closing costs, taxes, what the community offers. So let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so let's get this tour started. I am so excited. So in this floor plan, you have this long wide hallway, which I love. You can have maybe like a little drop off zone if you would like, have your keys or have a nice table, picture frames of your beautiful family, whatever your heart desires. So as I mentioned, this floor plan has two masters. One is in the front and one is in their back. So let's begin in front of the house and let's check out master number one okay so let's walk into master bedroom number one faces the front of the house it has two windows it is pre-wired for a light and a ceiling fan it does not come with the home but that's one thing that you just buy nice some one of it has they have nice ones in like home depot lowe's walmart um even wayfair right so this is a very very nice sized master bedroom again faces the front of the house and come on this way so all throughout the house you're gonna have tile except the bedrooms the bedrooms have carpet okay and what you see is what you get um you cannot make any changes okay so this is the master closet it is a walk-in closet more than enough space as you can see design this however your heart desires you can take these racks out get some customizable inserts go to ikea go search youtube TikTok, and have um, some creative 
juices flowing. I don't know, or hire somebody to do that. So that's the master closet, walk-in, great size. I absolutely love it. Now come on this way. So this is gonna be the master bathroom. So you have the one sink with the granite countertops, the espresso cabinets, and then you also have the shower tub combination. The tiling is going about three quarters of the way up, um, which is not my favorite, but you could always extend that after you close. And then there also is a linen closet behind this door, which you're gonna be able to put all of your bed sheets and things like that. So let's continue because we have a lot to cover. So what do you think about that room so far? Let me know. I think it's perfect for like if your parents or your in-laws are staying with you or maybe like a guest suite or your older child use it as some incentives, right? So we're walking through this long hallway. You could do like a catwalk and stuff like that. I'm feeling myself. Um, it's a beautiful day in Florida. The weather is getting hot. As you can see, my hair is up in a bun. It is hot today. So come on this way. We have an open floor plan here. So we have recessed lightings all throughout this space. And then you also have a pre-wire for the um, ceiling fan. Okay. So let me show you how it's going to be. So this is would be considered your family room, right? So essentially you could have maybe like a U sectional or whatever fits your family needs. And then the TV on this side, you guys know, 100 inch minimum, absolutely. But there's a lot of natural light coming into this house. We have the two windows on that side, and then we also have the sliding doors, which we'll, we can check out outside in just a minute. So just to kind of give you an idea, this home is for sale, and um, they have another two for sale, which I'm gonna show you drone of the lots, and to, so that you can see how big it is. It's gonna be the same exact floor, um, the same exact home floor plan. It just may have like maybe different um, color cabinets or something like that, okay? So as we walk this way, we are in the dining space where you would put your dining table. As you can see, you have more than enough space between the family room and the dining space to put a circular, rectangular, square table, whatever fits your family needs. The light already comes with the home. You could change it out if you don't like that, but it does come. Now, let's walk into this kitchen yes 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 i love that you have the two hanging pendant lights already coming with the home we have this very nice size island guys i'm never gonna stop saying this because i love islands because i'm not, i'm an island girl i'm from puerto rico i'm also from dominican republic and i was born and raised in staten island new york so when i see islands just reminds me of being back home cooking my kids surrounding it chopping it up talking about our day our goals um so this island we do have a double stainless steel sink pretty deep with this faucet this faucet is absolutely ugly oh my gosh it annoys me because it, faucets are not that expensive so you can get a nice looking faucet the one with the like the kind of like the hook and stuff i love that one with the spiraling going around you guys know which one i'm talking about that that's super inexpensive so if you decide to buy this house and you do not like this faucet i will buy you your faucet absolutely i hold hold me to my word because i'm telling you this faucet is not cutting it anyways we do have a garbage disposal here it's granite countertops dependent lights so the appliances are GE and you're gonna have the double door refrigerator. You're gonna have the dishwasher, which is right here on the island. We have the microwave over the electric stove. Now we have 42 inch cabinets. Yes, we do. They are not soft clothes, um, but that's something that you can add in um, afterwards. And they do have crown molding on the top, which I absolutely love because it just makes a big difference, right? So you have some prep space here. Even on this side, guys, you have enough cabinets um, on the top, on the bottom, and then you already know we have to have a coffee station up in this house, right? I know all my clients who call me, they are coffee lovers. This is why I love YouTube because I just, oh my gosh, I just attract people that want to work with me and that we have the same like likes, right? So coffee station right here, maybe, you know, we all know you guys either like the Starbucks cups, the Stanley cups, or like a coffee cup 
connoisseur. Does that make sense? Yes. I just have all of your collection here. Great space for a coffee station. Okay, now we also have a pantry in here. Yes, we do. We have a walk-in pantry. As you can see, more than enough space to put all of your box goods, canned goods, all that good stuff. Um, you have even space on the bottom to put maybe a case of water, the um, bulky snacks for the kids. So, oh, one, let me put let me put you guys on. So I don't know if it was TikTok or my husband told me, but he watches TikTok a lot. There's actually wood boards that literally just go over this it has the lip and you just place it on top of here you don't even have to remove these and it looks customized i'm like oh my gosh i want to do that too so this is the kitchen i absolutely am here for again depending on which other lot i don't those two other lots i don't know what color the um the cabinets are gonna be, but it's gonna be the same exact floor plan, kitchen, just maybe different cabinets and maybe different color countertops, okay? So now, coming on this side, right? To my left, we're gonna have the two other bedrooms, the full bathroom, and then we have the laundry room. So come on this way, let's just go check it out. So to my left, we have the laundry room. The laundry room is nice and wide, very spacious. It has a, um, a rack on the top. It doesn't come with a washer or a dryer, but that just allows you to pick and choose whichever one you like. I actually had a client was like, you know what, I'm happy that the houses don't come with wash and dryer because I like to choose which one I'm gonna buy, and I absolutely agree. So this is the wash and dryer. You guys know how I always say, you could take out this rack, add some cabinets if you would like to, just to maximize the space and close it up, whatever, up to you. Now behind me, we're gonna have the two car garage, so let's go check that out. All right, so this is the two car garage enough space for two cars and you probably like duh but sometimes the two car garage doesn't look like it's gonna have space for two cars just saying so you have the water heater in here and then just kind of a fyi sometimes they leave you extra um extra tiles right so that's good you could always like if you decide you know what i don't want rugs in the um in the rooms after i close you can take that you can order more so that's i like that they do that it does come with the garage door opener so that's just one less thing that you have to worry about all right so this is the two car garage and let's continue all right so we just finishing the two car garage now before we go on i want to let you know the best way to reach out to me is if you go in my youtube there's a link and that link links to my calendar and that's going to be the best way to reach out to me so choose whether you're a builder investor buyer seller wanting to connect with me not only do i help my buyers evolve in real estate i also help sellers evolve in real estate whether it's downsizing upsizing relocating to another part of florida or out of state or even out of the country okay this is the best way because when when i want to make Make sure that when we connect that I'm giving you my undivided attention and this is the best way if you call me that is completely fine my assistant Katrina she'll go ahead and put you on my calendar anyways okay so I just want to make sure that I cover that now we are in the hallway off of the uh, laundry room okay so to my left we're gonna have the um, the bathroom that these two bedrooms are gonna share to my right we also have a linen closet so there's five shelves more than enough space for your top towels, bed sheets, blankets. Behind me, that door is just the HVAC system, nothing special, no extra storage in there, okay? So to my left, we have the bathroom, right? So this bathroom is two sinks with, it's like an extended, um, extended countertops, which I absolutely love. You have the two cabinets with the drawer in between, as well as another cabinet. And then you have the shower tub combination. Not my favorite that the tile doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling, but you could always extend that as well if that's something that bothers you. Again, you have, you also have like the towel holder, toilet paper holder, so that's just little extras that the builder added in, okay? So now we're gonna come this way to my right, we're gonna check out bedroom number two. All right, so bedroom number two faces the side of the house. We have one window. It is pre-wired for a light and a ceiling fan. And then you also have these sliding doors for the closet, as you can see. So this closet, it is it is spacious. Um, one thing that I always say to maximize the space, because a lot of us are always trying to maximize the space. We get a lot of, we just, we just accumulate a lot of things over the years. I always say you can add one of these other racks um, and add another one 
one on the bottom so that you could just have maybe some stuff, shirts on the top, jeans on the bottom. If you wanted to bunk the kids too, this um, is definitely spacious enough for a twin over twin bunk beds. And that's how we do it in my house because we have six kids. If you don't know, if you're new to my page, yes, my husband and I have six kids. We have three biological sons and we were foster parents. So we adopted a sibling group of three. So we have four boys and two girls. And so what we do is that some of them have to be bunked and um, we have one shelf for one kid and then the other shelf for the other child and it just gives them that like sense of ownership like yeah I got I own my shelf right we don't have to share the shelf okay so that's that makes them feel good all right so bedroom number three is gonna be on the opposite side of this bedroom and it's a little bit bigger so let's go see it Okay, so we're walking into bedroom number three. It faces the side of the house as well. It does have the one window. It is pre-wired for a light and a ceiling fan. It does have carpet, okay? So remember, all of the bedrooms do have the carpet, but throughout the house, except the bedrooms, we have that tiled flooring. But if carpets, bother you i always say just just live in them for a few years and then you just go ahead and replace them with the tile okay so you also of course have a closet and the cl this closet is actually a walk-in closet so this bedroom is bigger and it does have an l-shaped walk-in closet good space you can even get this customized as well i have one of my favorite clients all my clients are favorite um or are my favorite so the, th these clients are a military family, so they move around a lot. And she said in every house that they've owned, they customized their daughter's closet. And I thought that that was absolutely amazing. I um, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for serving our country. I absolutely love you guys. All right, so we're gonna continue. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm so, I'm so emotional. I, all right, so we're gonna continue the um, tour. We're gonna... Let's go check out that master bedroom. All right, so what do you think about this house so far? Let me know. You know, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. Number one, I didn't build this house. Number two, I don't work for the builder, right? So just let me know what you think about this house so far. Do you like it? Do you love it? Is it not for you? It's okay, all right? So one thing I wanna mention, and I wanna get your feedback on it, right? So what I wanna start doing is I actually wanna start live streaming on Sundays, maybe like Sundays around five or six o'clock. I'm thinking maybe like five to six. And this is basically gonna be, it's gonna be called The Real Tea on Real Tea. You guys know I'm from New York and I'm just sassy, right? And so what it basically is gonna be is like letting you know what is happening in the market here in florida right then and there right what's the current incentives for some of the builders where there's new developments things like that maybe i can ha um, answer some of your questions right like if you have any questions about me i know one person um left a comment saying that they want to know um my journey from moving to new york to florida and i would absolutely be willing to share that so let me know what you guys think if you guys would tune into that live streaming sundays probably five to six um let me know let me know all right so let's come this way before we get hold on before we get to the master bedroom which is right behind me we do have sliding doors the sliding doors that lead to the backyard now the backyards do come it's a covered lanai okay so what i want you to mention what what i want you to mention what i want to mention and you to take note is that this house is for sale this exact lot right so it's on the smaller side right however the drone footage my editor is going to do his thing he's you're going to see the drone those two houses are available they they should be able to close around june july and those houses are the same exact house as this but look at how big those lots are you have a lot of space in between those houses because it's like a pie shaped lot so both those lot the lot 100 and lot 105 okay so those are going to be priced around 396 397 i'll let you know exactly because you guys know that i don't gatekeep i'll let you know i'm the most honest transparent realtor on here absolutely okay i treat people how i want to be treated so this is lot number one let's just call this lot number one this house is available but then those other two lots are available as well but those other two lots for a couple of more thousand dollars 
I would choose one of those because the space in between the houses and that backyard is big enough to add a pool, make it your backyard oasis, yes. All right, so this is the backyard for this lot. Now let's go into that master bedroom. All right, so this is master bedroom number two, and this is the bigger master bedroom, okay? So this master bedroom is for the person who's paying the mortgage, absolutely. Now this master bedroom faces the back of the house. It has two windows, pre-wired for a ceiling fan and a light, carpets again. But come this way, we also do have a walk-in closet. It's like an l shape as well. As I always say, go to Ikea, get this customized, pay for somebody to do it if you don't wanna do it, or just leave it like this. One is your house, you do whatever you wanna do. But this is a nice size. A master closet, even bigger master bedroom. So you can have your bed on one side, the TV on the other, you can have, this is more than enough space to like a, a little seating area, right? Maybe some, you know, you want your little, or um, I have a lot of clients who have like a meditations um, area in their room. So I think this is a definitely a perfect space. Now come on in to this master bathroom. So this master bathroom has two sinks. So as I mentioned, this is the larger master bathroom, okay? So before we talk about the sinks, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. I'm super excited. I get so excited when I find these type of floor plans for the price, for what the community is offering. I get super excited. And when I get so excited, I start twisting my words. I start speaking so fast. So we do have the um, towel holder and things like that. But we also have a deep linen closet. Holy moly, this is deep. You can even, like, if you wanted to, you can get longer, um, longer or wider. Which one? Wider? So wider um, uh, shelves to put all of your good stuff. We love blankets in our house, so our linen closets are filled with blankets. Now, you have the double sink with its Always, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but most likely in almost all the houses that I have toured is that the sink that you have, the sink, the countertops that you have in the bathroom is gonna be the same in the kitchen, okay? And the same color combo as well. So we have the double sink, granite countertops, the espresso cabinets. We do have a step in, yeah, we got a step. So we do have a step in shower. The glass enclosure already comes with the, the shower. And then of course that same tiling on the wall. We also have a water closet. This water closet is pretty deep. I don't know why you would need a super deep water closet, but that's okay. Um, you can add maybe some decoration in there. I don't know, but I love the water closet because you could be using the bathroom, your significant other, and then keep doing what you have to do, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, whatever. So this is the master bedroom, master bathroom. Now let's go back to the kitchen, chop it up, and then we're going to Monarch School of Real Estate. All right, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my absolute favorite place to be. What did you think about this house? Let me know in the comments. Let's do a quick recap. So this is the Weber floor plan, four bedrooms, three bath, two car garage, 2,210 square feet with two master bedrooms. When you enter the home, you're gonna have that first master bedroom in front of the house. Very nice and spacious with the walk-in closet as well as the master bathroom. Coming in, you have also this open floor plan space with the kitchen, 42 inch cabinets. We have the walk-in pantry, the nice size island. We also have that family dining space combo with the extra um, natural light as well as the sliding doors. Off of the kitchen, we have the laundry room, the two car garage. On the opposite side of that, we have the bathroom that the two bedrooms are gonna share. And then we also have those two bedrooms across from each other facing the side of the house. Now, we have that second large master bedroom that faces the back of the house, very nice and spacious, walk-in closet and an even bigger master bathroom, okay? So remember, this lot is available and then we have two other lots, bigger, bigger lots with the same exact floor plan, okay? So this, I actually made a mistake. So this, this lot that I'm in, this house that I'm in, it's priced at $375,000 and then the other two, which um, are like that pie-shaped, 
lot is priced at $394,000, okay? Just, I wanna make sure that I clear that up. So we are in Central Florida, specifically Hain City. Hain City is just right outside of Davenport. We're still centrally located, only about 30 minutes to get to Walt Disney World, about 45 minutes to get to downtown Orlando, and then we're about 45 minutes away from Tampa. Now, this area is growing. It's been it's been around since the 1800s. I I thought that that was so um that was so cool to find out. So it's been around since the 1800s. So we it's, you can definitely see like some farmlands, but a lot of things are coming to Haines City. A lot of commercials, um, commercial developments, and a lot of new construction homes and communities are coming into the area as well. So I just honestly just keep seeing this this area grow and develop, okay? So as I mentioned, we are in Covered Bridge Community. Stanley Martin is the builder. So they have a few different floor plans. A few months ago, I'll post it in um, my YouTube that we did this community, but we showed the Juniper model. So the Juniper model is just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit over 1,800 square feet, and it's a four bedroom, two bath home. Very, very nice and beautiful as well. So you can go check that out. So this community is, they're already building the community pool. It's gonna have a little picnic area. It's gonna have a playground and a dog park. The HOA is only $100 per month and there's no CDD. I actually have clients who live in this community. They bought not too long ago, a few months ago, and they absolutely love it, all right? So if this is something that um, interests you, definitely reach out to us, okay? So now we're gonna go to Monarch School of Real Estate where I'm gonna break down all the numbers for you. All right, so welcome to Monarch School of Real Estate. If you guys have been following me, you know that I absolutely love to do this. This is my favorite part of the video because I love to educate you guys as savvy consumers, okay? So as a disclaimer, I am not a licensed loan officer. I am not a licensed tax appraiser. These numbers are solely estimates just to give you a better idea of what to look forward to, okay? Um, so the how the price of this house is about 374 so we're just gonna leave it at 374 and that's for this lot the bigger lots are about 394 okay the math works for the same okay HOA is hundred dollars per month and then there's no CDD so when you're buying a house and you're financing there's a few different loan options one of them is FHA FHA is primarily for first-time home buyers and the minimum requirement is 3.5 percent of the purchase price okay so if we do three and a half percent of three hundred and seventy four thousand dollars we get thirteen thousand ninety dollars when you are buying a house, not only do you have to think about a down payment, but you also have to think about closing costs. What are closing costs? So closing costs are an accumulation of fees such as loan origination fees, title fees, prorated taxes, transfer fees, and so much more. So it's usually around three to 4% of the purchase price. And I usually just am super conservative and I always just go 4%. So 4% of $374,000 is $14,960. So if you add the down payment plus the closing cost, we have a cash to close of $28,050. So cash to close is basically the cash you need in order to close on the home and get the keys. Now, the next loan is a conventional loan. For first time home buyers, you may qualify for a 3% low um three percent down payment okay so three percent of the purchase price is eleven thousand two hundred and twenty dollars same closing cost and we have a cash to close of twenty six thousand one hundred and eighty dollars now if you don't qualify for the three percent then the next tier from that is five percent five percent of the purchase price is eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars same closing cost we have a cash to close of thirty three thousand six hundred and sixty dollars now the next tier from five percent is ten percent now alexis why would i have to pay ten percent the reason why you're going to pay ten percent if this is going to be considered a second home so let's say you live in new york you're going to retire in a few years but you want to buy a house now this is going to be considered a second home let's say um you rent in new york right but you want to buy a house here but you're not going to live in it um Primarily, it's going to be considered a second home. You need 10%. So 10% of the purchase price is 
$400. We have the same closing cost, which gives us a cash to close of $52,360. Now the next tier from 10% is 20%. Now why would I wanna pay 20%? You're gonna pay 20% if number one, you wanna avoid private mortgage insurance. Then you put 20% down, you save a couple of hundred dollars per month. But don't worry, because if you start at a conventional at 3%, and in a few years, your equity turns into that, you end up having 20% of equity in the house, you call the bank and you let them know that you want that private mortgage insurance removed and they'll remove it, okay? So then, um, so that's why you would do it. And then if you're gonna, if this is gonna be considered a investment property. So if you wanna rent this out long-term because they do not allow short-term rentals in this community, you could rent it out long-term. You would need minimum 20% down. So 20% down of the purchase price is $74,800 same closing cost and we have a cash to close of $89,760. Now in this area, because it's new, it's getting developed, it's been around where it's still considered rural, right? So this community allows for USDA, which means 100% financing. So you don't need a down payment. All you have to worry about is the closing cost, which is that $14,960. Now, the next loan is a VA loan. Thank you for everyone who has served our country. You get 100% financing. All you have to think about is the closing cost, which is $14,960. Now, if you're paying cash, you still have closing costs, but they're just not nearly as much. I estimate it to be around two to 3,000. And again, that is just an estimation, all right? So taxes. Taxes are a big question. So when you're buying a new home, the taxes the first year are extremely low because it's only based on the land value. But the second year, the house gets reassessed with the land and your taxes go up. So they estimate the taxes to be about 1.25% of the purchase price. So if that's, if I do one, if I do the purchase price times 1.25%, I get $4,675, which would be your taxes per year. Again, that is just an estimate. Also, it might be a little bit lower if you're gonna use this as your primary residence because then you could file for what is called the Florida Homestead Tax Exemption, which, which is basically a $50,000 discount, okay? So that is just an estimate. Homeowners insurance, get access all the time. Homeowners insurance, very, very low for new constructions where we are located in Florida. So I estimate it to be around $1,200 or less per year, okay? And then I want to emphasize on this new program. Well, it's not new, it's it's been around for, uh, within the last year, year and a half. Hometown Heroes is supposed to be coming back, guys. You have to be ready because the funds are going to run out very, very fast, okay? If you don't know what Hometown Heroes is, look back in my videos. You, I have done just one video on what Hometown Heroes is. Quick recap of Hometown Heroes. If you qualify, so you have to live in, you have to work in Florida. You have to be a first time home buyer. You have to work at least 35 hours um, per week. And um, you have to have at least a 640 credit score. So let's say you work from home, your whole, your office has to have their, your company has to have an office here in Florida. Okay. So they give you 5% of the loan amount, not to exceed $35,000. So what happens is it ends up covering your down payment and most of your closing costs. So what this is considered, it is considered a second silent mortgage and does need to get paid once you pay off the regular mortgage, the 30 year mortgage, you sell the house or you end up renting out the house, okay? This is a great program. There's no interest on it. So that's something to consider if you do not have the funds to close on a home, okay? So Hometown Heroes is coming up. Guys, be prepared because when I tell you it's going down, it's gonna the funds are gonna run out very, very fast this time. All right, so the incentive that the builder is offering right now is either a 4.99 interest rate plus $8,000 in closing cost or $18,000 in closing costs, which gives you um, flexible range as far as if you wanna use that. You could use that towards the uh, down 
the closing cost, which is that $14,960. And then the remaining you can use as a, um, to buy down your interest rate, which will probably be around the 5.99. That's what they're seeing, okay? So you guys have options here. Don't forget about that Hometown Heroes, but you have to like, we have to already have your file. You spoke to the lender and we're just like waiting, okay? Supposedly that's coming in June. So um, don't say I didn't tell you so. Again, guys, these are just rough numbers. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if you would like for me to start live streaming, answering your questions, letting you know what's going on right then and there, as far as like within the week, right? Um, what's going on in our market, such as, you know, programs like this, Hometown Heroes, right? These tours are beautiful, right? But I still have to go through editing and all of that stuff, so it's not real time. That's why I like the live streaming, um, concept because i can give you what's happening um in our market live time in real time all right so look at my videos i cover all of central florida from ocala to tampa and everywhere in between don't forget that if you would love to work with us please reach out to us and stay tuned to our next video